Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe even leave a comment that simply says thanks. Really helps with the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and I've included a link in the description that will take you directly to the product page, where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? So today's product I want to share with you is a lightweight metal detector by a company called uh, Sephlata. This is the box that it's going to come in once you order it. You're going to get a ton of parts and pieces. So first off, you are going to get a nice little carrying bag, so that way you can tuck it away when you are not utilizing it, or if you are off and about, um, like going to the beach or something like that, makes it super easy to transport. Naturally, you are going to get a user manual, take a look through this, but we're going to go over a lot of the features here in the video, but there's always some extra special stuff that you may discover in the manual. Then you are going to get a shovel kit here, which this is a nice uh, little add-on, especially if you are out in the field or the beach. Uh, you can simply just screw it together and uh, you're good to go as far as digging down to see what that metal object is, which is a nice little feature. And it comes with this little uh, kind of belt buckle strap here. Then uh, finally, you're also going to get a pair of headphones. So if you don't want to listen to the beep externally, you can put these on and wear these uh, to help fine tune the sound. It plus plugs in right on the back of the metal detector itself. And here is the metal detector itself. So as you can see, it's uh, nice and long. Down here, you have a lot of holes of adjusting. You can adjust the height to this thing. It goes from 41 inches all the way up to 52 inches. So you can find the perfect length for you. It does have at the top here, it has a nice padded arm strap and then a Velcro to keep your arm nice and comfortable. Uh, it also has a foam grip here right above the screen. You have a nice coil here. Now the coil is uh, waterproof. So if you want to put this in a riverbed or a stream, you can just keep that in mind, just the coil. You don't want to submerge the whole device itself. Now the whole thing is very lightweight, which is really nice because you're not gonna get that arm fatigue. The whole thing weighs approximately about 2.4 pounds. Um, and it's easy to take apart if you need to take it apart. So it's very flexible on that front. As far as batteries, it takes two nine volt batteries, which are just added to the little compartment on the bottom side. But now let's go over the screen itself. So one of the things I like about the screen is it is super bright. It has a bright uh, icon, it's, which is the sun. Just hold that down for a few seconds and it will light up. Now, if it's during the daytime, you may not want to leave that on because it's going to obviously wear down your batteries faster. So once again, just hold it and it will turn it down. Now, this thing will has multiple modes. So let's go over all the different modes it has. It has the all metal mode, which is what I typically use. Uh, it just will detect any kind of metal and then you can just look to search what it is. It has the pinpoint mode. And how you're gonna do that is you're gonna press the little PP button at the bottom and then that's gonna get it more like fine tuned. So if you're doing your normal sweeps and you trigger some metal, go ahead and move it to the PP mode and then you can fine tune the exact spot. It just saves you a lot of time, which is a nice feature. Then it has a jewelry mode, which is designed specifically to target more jewelry items. Um, it has a sense mode, which is, allows you to basically adjust the senses, and that is the SEN, uh, S mode at the end, and then you're gonna use the plus or minus to adjust the sensitivity of it. Um, that's kind of nice if you're looking just for shallow stuff, you can kind of pull down that sensitivity a lot. Uh, then it's gonna have a disc mode, which will remove unwanted metals like cans, um, and like little, little tops or, uh, basically just those kind of aluminum metal that you just don't really want. Uh, once again, I get too many false alarms typically with those kind of things, because so I prefer to do the all metal mode because you just never know. There could be something next to a can and so you just don't know. Uh, but then it also has a memory mode. So the memory mode is a really cool feature because uh, what that does is you can target like, a, let's say a coin. Let's say you, you're looking for specifically a, a silver dollar or something like that. You can take that coin and you can memorize it so then it knows uh, that calibration to that item, if you will. So it's a cool little feature. But like I said, it has a lot of modes to explore. I basically just use the all metal mode. It's just the one I prefer. Uh, and then I jump to the pinpoint when I'm really, really close to something that I want to dig up. 
Uh, the coil down at the bottom is adjustable, so you can just tighten that up depending on what angle you want. Remember, you want to swing around um, in a straight line. You don't want to swing up at an arc or anything like that. Uh, and it's this, this particular unit is designed to go up to about 10 inches in depth. Um, and there is some depth finders on the screen that will give you an idea how deep you are go that object is, um, which just kind of gives you a little bit of idea for what you're going to be digging and whatnot. So overall, it's a really nice, uh, lightweight, easy to use metal detector. If you're in the market, you're thinking about getting started and doing some metal detection. Um, I think this is a great unit to begin with. Uh, and for all those reasons, I do highly, highly recommend it. If there's something that I didn't quite cover that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. That is it till the next video. You guys, take it easy. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.